And since you are quite five times as pretty as the rest of us and have the sweetest disposition, I fear the task will fall on you to raise our fortunes. But, Lizzie, I would wish I should so much like to marry for love. And so you shall. I'm sure. Only take care you fall in love with a man of good fortune. <laughs> well, I shall try to please you. And you? I am determined that nothing but the very deepest love will induce me into matrimony. So, I shall end an old maid and teach your ten children to embroider cushions and play their instruments <laughs> very ill. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. My head is very ill tonight. Lord, I said I wouldn't dance with him if he was the last man in Meriton. <laughs> Good night, Lydia. Good night, Kitty. Good night, Good night Lizzie. Lizzie. Save your breath to cool your porridge, Kitty. I will tell Mama. I do not wish to know. What should we care for Mr Bingley since we are never to be acquainted with him? But Mama! <coughs> don't keep coughing so, Kitty. For heaven's sake, have a little compassion on my nerves. He has 30 for my own servants. Amusement. 40 servants. And he is very handsome and wears a blue coat. And he declared to Sir William that he loves to dance. And he's promised to come to the next ball. At the assembly rooms. On Saturday. And bring six ladies and four gentlemen. No, it was 12 ladies and seven gentlemen. Too many ladies. Oh, Lydia, I 